boys and girls, it's Miss Walker coming to you for another edition of our Wandering Wednesdays. As you can tell, I'm at home just like you guys are, and I've had to get a little creative about our books since we're all stuck at home in this winter. So I am using some ebooks. These are ebooks we actually have at school. Now, I also have hardcovers, so you can check out the hardcovers, but you can also check out these books, these ebooks, and open it up on Destiny using any computer. And as you can see, I have my dog Bailey's here in front of me. Um, she thinks she needs to be in the camera too. Turn and look at the boys and girls, Bailey. So, the story we're going to read today is called Stinky Stanley, and it is part of the Adventures of the Hound Hotel. All right, Adventures of the Hound Hotel, Stinky Stanley. Chapter one, that totally stinks. I'm Alfie Wolf, and there's one thing I hate, baths. Almost every night, my mom says, For Pete's sakes, Alfie, go take a bath. Wash those stinky feet with soap before I faint from the smell. The problem is, mom always says it right when I'm going to do really important stuff, like handing out bedtime treats to the dogs in our dog hotel. Most of the time, I avoid the bathtub without mom noticing. But... This story isn't about my stinky feet. Well, not totally. It's about a stinky dog named Stanley. A Labrador Retriever, to be exact. A yellow lab, to be exacter. Stanley loved to roll in dead stuff, like fish. The deader, the better. In my opinion, that wasn't the problem. But this was when he stayed at the Hound Hotel. His owner, Mrs. Snoot, wouldn't let him play outside. All dogs should play outside. It totally stank. I never felt sorrier for a dog. Stanley showed up at the Hound Hotel one morning last month in the peak of summer and super hot. Before Stanley arrived, my twin sister, Alfieta, and I were sitting on the kitchen floor eating our cereal. That's totally normal at our house. See, our mom was writing another book about dogs, and as usual, the kitchen table and chairs were covered in her writing stuff. She sat at the table and typed on a computer. Alpharetta and I wolfed down our cereal out of dog bowls. Don't worry, we did use spoons. That's normal at our house, too. All the regular bowls are dirty and piled in the sink. We own more dog bowls than regular bowls. Why? Well because that's really the only part of our store our mom likes to shop in, the dog department. Alpharetta read a Hound Hotel new visitor form while she ate. I read over her shoulder. It was the information about Stanley written by his owner, Mrs. Snoot. Dearest Hound Hotel workers, like a true Labrador Retriever, my sweet boy Stanley loves to play catch with sticks, balls, and frisbees. Also, like a true lab, he runs very fast. It gives him great joy to tear around outside. He would stay outdoors all day long if I allowed it. But I don't allow it. Now that it's August, he gets too hot, dirty, and sweaty. I simply cannot stand a stinky dog. Therefore, I expect you to keep Stanley inside his pen while I'm gone. He may go outside for short bathroom breaks, but no running around. I expect dear Stanley to smell as sweet as a rose when I return from my overnight trip. Thank you. Snuffily yours, Mrs. Snoot. Alfreda finished reading and said, What? Stanley can't play at side at all? He'll be bored out of his mind, I cried. That totally stinks. Hmm. Mom said, Alfie, did you say something stinks? She looked away from her computer and snuffed the air. Something really does smell horrible in here. What is it? She stood up and wandered around the kitchen. First, she sniffed the pile of dirty dishes in the sink. Then she snuffed the trash can full of stuff. Then she opened the refrigerator and sniffed in there, too. She closed the refrigerator inside. Bad smells everywhere, she said. This place needs a good cleaning, but I can't do it just now. I have a book deadline and a hotel full of dogs to care for. And your dad's gone. 
Our dad was gone for two weeks this time. He was on another wolf study up north. But where was that horrible smell coming from, she asked. She walked around the room, sniffing corners. Suddenly, Alpharetta cried, found it gross. She held my shoes by her fingertips. Then, in a quick flash, they threw open the back door and tossed my shoes outside and shivered. Ooh, those stunk. Bad. I can't believe I touched them. Alfie mom said in a firm voice, you have to start wearing socks with your shoes and you have to do a better job of washing your feet with soap. Okay, I muttered. Mom sat at the computer again. About two seconds later, she sniffed. I still smell it. I smell it too, Alpharetta said. Mom stood up and marched towards me. Sit, Alfie, she ordered, and I sat. Lift, Alfie. I lifted a foot. Fo uh, I knew the drill. Mom had trained me like a prize-winning dog when it came to feet sniffing time. Mom sniffed my toes and slapped her hand over her nose. Alfie, she cried through her fingers. For Pete's sakes, did you take a bath last night? Did you even touch your soap? Your feet have never smelled worse. They smell as bad as old oh, dead fish. My face got hot and I didn't say anything. Alpharetta covered her nose too. Can't you smell it yourself, she asked. Upstairs, I don't know, I muttered. My nose is long way from my toes. Upstairs, Alfie, now, and take a bath and wash those feet with soap. But mom, Stanley will be here soon, I cried. I have to talk to Mrs. Snoot and make her let me take Stanley outside to play. He'll be crazy bored if he's in his pen all the time. Alfie, Mom said in her, me I mean business voice, you cannot come in the kennel building with awful smelling feet. There can't be a bad smell at the Hound Hotels. Customers will think it is an unhealthy place for dogs. Our house may not always smell the best, but the hotel must be clean and smell fresh, understand? I guess so. With that, I spun around on my sneaky toes and tore upstairs. I took a bath in record speed, and somehow I'd find a way to talk some sense into Mrs. Snoot. Hang tight, Stanley, old boy, I thought. Alfie will save the day. And that brings us to chapter two, Trapped by Mrs. Snoot. So, if you want to continue this story, make plans to either go get the book on our um, school library card catalog and use the ebook to open it and enjoy reading it, or come to the library and check it back when we are back in school. I hope to see you back here next week for another Wondering Wednesday with Mrs. Walker. What will we be reading then?